the black stocks rally to start the week. Investors definitely happy with Pfizer's FDA approval. The Dow added 215 points, closing at 35,335. The S&P 500 added nearly 38 points, and the Nasdaq jumped 228 points, closing at a record high of 14,942. Black consumers are projected to spend $1.5 trillion on products and services this year. $2.5 billion of that is going to beauty products alone. All this week in our Business of Black Beauty series, BNC's Brittany Jones introduces us to the Boss Lady CEOs making waves in an industry finally recognizing the power of the black dollar. From our coils, strands connected, braided and twisted into beautiful crowns, to our melanin rich skin soaking in the sun, giving us all the shades of brown. Black is beauty. Black beauty is community. The sisters in the salon, the brothers at the barbershop, cornerstones of our neighborhoods, building wealth, building legacies, making products for us and by us as we fulfill our ancestors' wildest dreams. Hair, lashes, nails, skin, black beauty is forever the blueprint. And here is just one of the trailblazers leading the way. And Lana, oh my gosh, you've been doing such a fantastic job. Obviously, um, this was a, a new career for you, if you will. Talk about your passion. One of the things that we want to talk to you about is curly clips and how you developed it. This is something that, you know, some women, we can't get the hair that we want in terms of like having it very big. So you offer a way to be able to get that gorgeous look and get people confident. So tell us more about your business, Curly Clips. Absolutely. Um, Curly Clips started in 2013 when I was going to a salon on a regular basis to grow out my natural hair because I was really uncomfortable with wearing it very short. Uh, for over a year at this point, and I had spent so much money because I was spending money on the hair itself and I was also spending money on the services. And, you know, I don't know if the stylist was having a bad day, but she basically at one point convinced me to stay in the sew-in for longer um, than I normally would. She convinced me to stay in it for four months. Um, and when I had reservations about that, she said, oh, don't worry about it. It's not ideal, but I'll pro I promise you won't have any damage. You'll be just fine. Well, that day comes and I was the last client of the day and it was not fine. Um, I had finally reached my gold length, which is pretty much down my back uh, towards my bra strap. And towards the end of it, after she was finished, we had to cut it all the way back up here again. This was a really, really difficult time in my life. Um, I graduated college during the Great Recession, the first year of the Great Recession. And so I had a really hard time finding a job. And even at that point, you know, all of my dreams um, that I had been working towards they had just, nothing had really come of it. And that's when I was crying on my bathroom floor, just saying, I give up, God, I give up on all of my dreams. You know, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. And it was in that moment of surrender that I heard this voice that said, clip and extensions for natural hair. I ran to Google because I was going to buy some to help fix my situation. And that's when I realized that no clip and extensions for natural hair existed. And at that moment, I was like, this is it. This is what I'm supposed to do. How have you managed to kind of stay afloat and survive a business that other people are getting into? What sets yours apart? Yeah, you know, that's really tough because um, really, I think when it comes to Black entrepreneurship, there's room for all of us. And that's one thing my dad shared with me. He said, you know, there's room for all of you out here who want to start a business. He said, do you know how many Black women on this planet exist? There is room for us. Black consumers have been ignored for years. And finally, the Black dollar is being recognized. What do you think about that? How does that make you feel? It's about time. You know, it's about, and that's when I started Curly Clips. I remembered I had a lot of white peers, Asian peers, Latina peers, who all had the option of clippings. And it was like, why hasn't anyone made this option for Black women? It just was absurd to me. So the fact that Black people are using their money to vote, 
for the type of businesses they would like to see. They're using their money to create the type of future they want to see and create. I mean, that's that's the beauty behind it. Well, many blessings to you, a founder and CEO of Curly Clips, Lana Boom. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you too, Brittany. I really appreciate and thank you, BNC. I just... More news ahead. Stay with us. This is BNC.